Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And last night I started a video that I'm calling Back to Basics. And I did a video with these four keys and E and C keys about up and down and top and like this. You hit T and it puts them to the top. And I've never had, I've had 28 likes in one day. I think the most I've ever had on a video. So people must like it. So I thought I'd go maybe a little step more with this Back to Basics. So I called the E key the even key last night and the C key the center because that's what they mean to me, but really it's horizontal and vertical. So if you wanted these blocks in a line, you would hit the E key. If you wanted these in a line, you would hit the C key. It puts them in a line. But tonight I'm adding the shift E. So there's two ways you can do about it. If we go E and then we hit shift E, it spaces them out equally like you would do if you had to go to Windows and open up your your Docker for uh, aligning. So let's go C and then go Shift C and it spaced them out perfectly. Now you can do both at one time, but it doesn't, it spaces them out. Shift C, it spaces them out, but it doesn't really move them, you know, into a line. So you could, you could actually do it either way first. You could hit the shift key C and then just the C to get them in a line. So that's the shift plus E to horizontal, shift plus C for vertical. You know, all the other ones kind of make sense. L is left, right is right, T is top, B is bottom, and P stands for center of the page. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.